So right after we landed in Japan, we decided to have a go at trying the famous Suji Han restaurant. And we were there about 40 minutes before opening time and thought we were gonna make the first sitting, but um, <laughs> they can only seat 12 and we were number 13 and 14, can you believe it? So we had to wait about another, it wasn't that bad, another 20 to 30 minutes until the first people were done eating. Then finally, we had our chance and we made it. And let me tell you, the wait was so worth it. This was so, so, so delicious. 1,000 out of 10. the restaurant this was the actual line okay i'm not complaining anymore i'm happy because this is definitely gonna be much longer at the big store gonna look at the cameras and oh my gosh it's so huge this place is massive we're going to have some dinner now we found this place called marui sushi <laughs> first place we've seen there's no line what? Okay, there are two people ahead of us that's not too bad dinner time We're gonna get the, the set with like four, 11 pieces of sushi with handmade omelet, miso soup, egg custard and then we're also gonna order the um, grilled brown meat which is crab meat that looks super amazing. <laughs> Round two. Oh, my Ah, oh, dinner was so good. The the quality of the sushi was actually similar to the masa dinner that we had in Frankfurt, which is basically a star restaurant, and the and the fish was just so freaking fresh. It's unbelievable. And the sea urchin, oh my god, so good, so good. It's the best damn thing I've ever eaten in my so life. Wait, is the street glittering? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I think this is the um Yeah, the theater. Suki Market. Ooh, mochi.
the Tsukiji market, we walked over to Bongen Coffee and stood in line for about 30 minutes. I read that the matcha latte with espresso is amazing, so I had to try that. I got matcha with espresso. Maybe matcha is good. The black one is actually. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's kind of frowned upon to walk while you're eating or drinking so you kind of have to like stay in a spot while you eat or drink um, So yeah, after we were done with our coffee break, we took the um, metro over to Shibuya and our plan is to walk all the way to Shinjuku and then have dinner there basically spend the entire day just wandering aimlessly around because there's just so much to see wherever we go experiencing Shibuya, we walked ourselves over to Harajuku and ended up walking to the Meiji Shrine, it's, which is just a couple of minutes away from Harajuku area. And we are currently walking through the Yoyogi Park, which is basically like this large forest that leads all the way up to the shrine. Um, it's actually quite amazing that they have such a huge park in the city i mean it's super beautiful here look at this this park is like over 160 acres of land it's massive and while we were making our way to the meiji shrine we came across this little tiny bonsai exhibition it was so cute they had chrysanthemum bonsais i've never seen that in my life before and then we were just on time for the most wow, beautiful nice. sunset when we arrived at the shrine oh my goodness look at this there was quite a lot of people but like not too too yeah, many right. people it was still pretty manageable very nice Look at this building here. This one. Yeah. Oh yeah. This one. Yeah. Oh, tiny man. Wow. Really tiny man. This one. Yeah. It's like a miniature of this one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are the one who won, but otherwise you wouldn't have checked prices. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me, my love. Don't lie. Are we going the right direction? We saw a lot of people. World 
famous onigiri. I think they keep it very well. Like very well refurbished. New morning and we are back in Tsukiji Market again because we didn't manage to try everything that we wanted to. Is this really real bar? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Or is this plastic? No, I think it's And we also wanted to get these dried scallops that we saw yesterday. It looked so delicious. It's perfect when you actually make um, some steamed vegetables or some uh, rice porridge, congee. It's so delicious when you make it with that. Then we stopped by to try some coffee and some toast and I just love Japanese milk bread. It's so fluffy and so nice. It's Asian bakery, very different compared to um, Western bakery. Oh, look at that ginger. Right? We are gonna try the cod, cod fish rice. And I wanted to give it a try because I've heard many good things about it. Um, and yeah, it was really, really delicious. It had wasabi, it kind of tasted a little bit wasabi y and um, salty. And yeah, it's just like a really great combination. It came with pickles to even all the flavors out. And today we are going to check out the Sensoji Temple. This one was so good. The mochi is like melting in your mouth. It was so tasty. And now we're heading to Kapabashi, which is where they have all the kitchen stuff and knives and chopsticks and so on. So. We found this store that sold clear soy sauce. This is so cool. It was actually so interesting to see how they made the soy sauce transparent and there was this testing table where you can try all of the different soy sauces um well not just soy sauce they had a bunch of other sauces like yuzu sauce wasabi oil um, and all sorts of different combinations and this guy was explaining to us how to mix the different sauces to create your own unique sauce to eat for salads or steak or different stuff it's like really really awesome we're in this soy sauce store and has like clear soy sauce i'm gonna get the ponzu and this one can eat with tofu this is the clear soy sauce super super cool and after that we went to this this store that sold nice and look at it they're so beautiful and then i saw this one knife with koi fishes on there and she told me that this is for sashimi it's so pretty and we also got a free gift after that we were pretty hungry and wanted to find something to eat but this place that we wanted to go to had a huge line in front of it so then we found a kura sushi just around the corner in a shopping mall and decided to go there instead so there was also a line but they had a number system the line moved pretty fast so maybe. And yeah, I mean the sushi here isn't on par to what we ate at Tsukiji market definitely not but still a good snack to eat while we were so hungry 
and basically how it works is you just hold on to the plate and pull don't remove the cover or try to open it like there's a little tiny opening where the plate is kind of sticking out uh, you just hold on to that and you pull um, and yeah there is a conveyor belt but then you can also um, order some extra special sushis and I ordered some natto sushi because I, I don't know I just found a newfound love for natto it's just so good I never liked it before but I don't know I guess my taste buds changed because I really really like it now and after you're done eating you basically put the dishes or like the plates into this opening on the table and it calculates how much you ate um, and then you can just pay at the counter while checking out it's like a pretty efficient system anyways that is all the next video is going to be us going to hakone hit the subscribe button to come along this japan trip we're going to explore nara hakone kyoto osaka kobe and i will see you next wednesday bye